Did not I tell you last week for S&P 500 that if it trades below 4020 it will call for a good drop and then we can expect 3900 level C. It has achieved precisely 3900 levels. I hope you all profited. Good sharp drop and good profit taking has been done. Now what is going to happen next week we will see with the help of chart and indicator. And in the end, I will give you the trading analysis and trading levels for next week. Do watch till the end, do listen to it carefully and do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Missing on to subscribe? This channel is missing on the profits. Do not commit this mistake. Do watch the daily analysis on Dow Jones, Nasdaq, Gold, Silver, Oil, FTSE, anything, whichever instrument you have. Everything is available here on my daily analysis and weekly analysis charts. Do subscribe to the channel and now do press the bell icon. Now let's start the day. See on the daily charts for see uh, S&P 500 is still trading within this channel. This is the bearish channel. I'll wait and watch out for it to break beyond 4000 levels next week. If it continues to trade above 4000, you can expect and you can remain bullish. Then one can expect that it may hit 4080 and 4120. These two levels you should watch out for. Beyond that, it will fly for 4200 40, levels also. But at the same time, look at the daily charts. One sharp red candle, couple of consolidation candles and it is sliding it is with the trading with a negative slope possibly once it breaks below 3900 this time you may find another good drop which could be of 100 150 points and which may try to take it further below this time if it draws below 3900 levels my next target is going to be 3840 and 38 very strong support levels exist there below that yes you can expect a further crash 3800 definitely is going to remain a good support this is on the daily charts look at the weekly charts on the weekly charts, I have told you this has seen the highs of this channel and now it is trying to trade with a drop. It is done with the retracement. Now we must see a drop. It has achieved almost the levels at 3900. Breaking and sustaining below 3900 next week, you can expect a further fall for 3840, 3800 and then 3750. See 3750 here is going to be a good, good strong support levels and sustaining below this definitely it will call for a stronger drop. Also look at this. On the weekly charts, it has hit a bottom out there and possibility exists that it can sustain 3900. It can, it may not fall below 3900 levels because this is also the bottom of this channel and this is a widening triangle and which is indicating little bullishness. But at the same time, we know that till the time it trades below this zone at 40 to 50, probably we have to be little bit watchful till the time it trades in between this triangle. And that is why the zone between 3900 and 4200 is going to be critical for S&P 500 for the forthcoming weeks. Now look at the monthly look at the monthly charts here. It has seen the highs. Even if it tries to rise this time, possibility of a reversal like this. If it tries to trade below 4000 levels, you can expect that we may see a little rise. But then 4050, 4100, and 4200 these two levels you should watch out for on the downside once it trades below 3900 definitely you can expect a little more fall below 3900 3840 is a good support 3800 is a good support below that we may see it dropping for 3700 and if it drops below 3700 we can expect a further fall for 3500 and below levels see a rise retracement rise so the rally has started also retracement and then rise so it has completed the journey till now if it breaks below 3750 next time any point of time if you see it dropping below these levels you can expect that we may see it dropping for 3500 levels and below levels also so this is what we have seen on the daily weekly monthly charts now look at the 4 hour chart on the 4 hour charts giving lower highs lower lows support there at 3900 if you see it trading below 3900 any point of time next week stay short and then you can expect that it may give you a stronger drop and this could be of 100 150 points and thus below 3900 it may call for a good drop for 3830 first target 3840 next 3800 and then 3750 levels just watch out for these levels on the upside breaking beyond the zone which is situated at around these levels now you have to be very cautious definitely of 4000 levels and now you should watch out for 39 60 zone if it breaks past 39 60 you can definitely expect it to hit 4000 and beyond that it will fly high now we have seen the charts now let's have a look with the help of the indicators whether the indicators also suggest the same and are, are also supporting of the same theory now look at the indicators trading below the 20 50 100 moving average on the 4 hour charts and trading at the bottom of the Bollinger Bands, it is getting the support here. The next resistance is at 4050 and 40, uh, 3950 and 3960. Just watch out for these two zones. If it breaks past 3960, you can expect 4000, 4000, 
40 levels and beyond that 4080 4100 levels can also be seen but this is going to be an extreme rise if it continues to trade bullish from here also look at the direction movement it was trading bearish it started to converge now again trying to diverge from here it may continue with the bearish momentum stochastic was overbought looking downwards may try to enter into oversold zone here the MACD was bullish trying to converge from here if it does if it crosses over we can see a bearish more more bearish move RSI trading flat here and on the daily charts if you look at on the daily charts it is trading below the 100, 200, 50, 20 period moving average. The 100 period moving average situated at around 4000 levels, very strong resistance. Beyond that 4050, 4080 and 4150 levels. Just watch out for these levels on the daily charts. Till the time it trades below 4150, possibility for it to remain bearish suggests. Hence, even if it tries to retrace this time, we may see it getting the resistance at around 4000 the first target, 4100 the next target. Sustaining above 4100, it will call for the bulls out there and it will fly above those levels till towards 4200 levels. Now, Look at the directional movement. So far, it is bearish, trying to converge from here. I'll wait and watch if it converges, crosses over for a bullish move. Remember the stochastic trading oversold. One single candle or couple of green candles. First thing is it may try to trade with a drop. It can drop strongly first or second day and then try to reverse it trace on the upside. A couple of green candles and then again stochastic will be overbought. Just be watchful of this move. Directional movement is still trading bearish. Look at the height of this. Probably it has achieved the low it wanted to and we have to be cautious it can try to converge from here try to act little bit bullish from here Yes, a couple of red candles cannot be denied RSI looking downwards and on the weekly chart Likewise on the weekly charts it is trading below the 20 50 100 weeks average 20 weeks average at around 40 20 100 weeks average at around 4200 and 50 weeks average at around 4300 levels exist. I think this is going to be a tough call for, for uh, S&P 500 to break past this zone at 4300, 400 zone anytime in near future. But these are markets beyond you and me. Directional movement is bearish. It was trading bearish. It tried to converge but again trying to diverge from here indicating more bearishness. Stochastic was overbought now looking downwards indicating bearishness. MACD was bullish trying to converge here and cross over for a sell there. RSI is looking downwards on the weekly charts appears it may still try to remain red and on the monthly charts yes there is a likelihood there is a probability that 3800 levels should be of a good support should provide a good support sustaining below 38 we can see 3750 and 3600 to provide a good good support the ultimate support is at 3500 levels there is a possibility that it can drop till towards those levels if it sustains below 3750 you can stay short and then 3500 levels can be seen for this month i'm not talking about this week but in this month we can expect it to drop till towards those levels if it sustains below 3750 levels now let's have a look at the trading levels and strategy for next week and yes before i give you the strategy one thing i would like to say here is please eliminate your bias while trading do not trade as per what you think just trade as per the levels because markets don't bother about what you think your thinking should be based on what how markets are behaving markets cannot behave as per your thinking so trade accordingly trade with a stop loss and trade with a trailing stop loss do remember stop loss user friend and a little profit is always better than no profit or better than a loss hence always keep a trailing stop loss also keep closing at the target so there are multiple strategies methodology if you want to learn the art of reading the charts taking the right entries and the right exits at the right time you can join my mentorship best definitely de de definitely the strategy taught and the methodology provided will help you become a profitable and proficient trader my this is a 15 this is a 15 batch this is a 15 day session and 90 minutes live sessions and def and the technical support is for lifetime this is a free support which will be there and definitely it will help you become a proficient and profitable trader reach out to me for more details my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description also you can be part of my pattern page support my efforts for creating the analysis and delivering to you all the profits you can just support me with a very, very minuscule contribution Yes, it is hardly $7 a month. Definitely, it will be a motivation for me. The pattern page link is mentioned in the channel and video description. Also, there is a premier tier there in pattern where you can get all the support, one-to-one -one discussion and lifetime support is what you get. So, reach out to me or for more details, just visit the pattern page. Now, for the next week, yes, you can go long if you see it trading above 3950 
बियॉन्ड दिस अब वी कैन एक्सपेक्ट थर्टी नाइन सेवेंटी फाइव एंड फोर थाउजेंड लेवल एज द रजिस्टेंस दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अ वेरी गुड रजिस्टेंस देन फोर्टी ट्वेंटी विल बी सीन एंड देन फोर्टी फोर्टी इफ दीज टू आर टेकन यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट इट टू राइज फॉर फोर्टी वन हंड्रेड तो एज आई सेड फर्स्ट थिंग इज यू शुड वॉच आउट हाउ इट बिहेव एट अराउंड दिस जोन एंड इफ दिस इज टेकन देन यू शुड वॉच आउट फॉर दिस बियॉन्ड दिस यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट फोर्टी वन हंड्रेड एंड देन फोर्टी वन फिफ्टी एंड फोर्टी टू हंड्रेड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अ नेक्स्ट रजिस्टेंस जोन फॉर नेक्स्ट वीक एंड फॉर नेक्स्ट मंथ आई विल स्पेसिफिकली कॉशन यू अगेंस्ट दीज टू लेवल्स सस्टेनिंग अबाउट फोर्टी वन हंड्रेड इट विल कॉल फॉर द बुल्स आउट देयर एंड देन इट मे फ्लाई टिल दैट टाइम यू हैव टू ट्रेड द स्टॉप लॉस एंड ट्रेड एज पर द लेवल्स जस्ट कीप क्लोजिंग द ट्रेड्स इन प्रॉफिट एंड कीप री एंट्रिंग इफ यू सी इट ट्रेडिंग इन यूर डायरेक्शन ऑन द डाउन साइड नाउ यू कैन गो शॉर्ट हियर एट थर्टी नाइन हंड्रेड टेन इट सेल्फ बिलो दैट यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट थर्टी एट एटी थर्टी एट फिफ्टी दीज टू लेवल्स इफ ब्रोकन देन थर्टी एट हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी सेवन फिफ्टी इफ थर्टी सेवन फिफ्टी इज टेकन यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट दैट इट इज गोइंग टू गिव यू वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग ड्रॉप एंड बिलो थर्टी सेवन फिफ्टी फर्दर टू दैट थर्टी सेवन हंड्रेड थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी फाइव हंड्रेड लेवल्स टूवर्ड्स द एंड ऑफ द मंथ कैन बी सीन यू हैव टू ट्रेड विद कॉशन दीज आर मार्केट बी ऑन यू एंड मी ट्रेड विद द कॉशन ट्रेड विद द स्टॉप लॉस ऑन द डाउन साइड यू हैव टू बी वेरी कॉशियस ऑफ दीज लेवल्स थर्टी एट हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी सेवन फिफ्टी इन बिटवीन दिस जोन इट कैन अगेन ट्राई टू बाउंस बैक एंड ट्रेड विद द बुलिशनेस सो यस इफ इट ट्राइज टू ड्रॉप यू कैन गो शॉर्ट हियर बट बी कॉशियस ऑफ थर्टी एट फिफ्टी थर्टी एट हंड्रेड थर्टी सेवन फिफ्टी लेवल्स बिलो थर्टी सेवन फिफ्टी नो बडी विल स्टॉप टिल अचीविंग थर्टी फाइव हंड्रेड थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड जोन टेक योर पोजिशन अकॉर्डिंगली ट्रेड अकॉर्डिंगली ट्रेड विद द स्टॉप लॉस ट्रेड विद द ट्रेलिंग स्टॉप लॉस डू नॉट फॉर्गेट टू लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब एंड कमेंट डू बिकम अ पैटर्न डू बिकम अ पार्ट ऑफ माई प्रीमियम मेंबरशिप बैच एंड ऑल्सो मेंटरशिप बैच थैंक यू वेरी मच हैव ए ग्रेट प्रॉफिटेबल ट्रेडिंग वीक है थैंक